Welcome to Hope Channel International. Find out more about the show Let's Pray and the work that they do in this video. I'm Mario. And I'm Susan. And, and we're, we're the hosts, hosts of Let's Pray. Let's Pray. We are ready to pray with you. I know that our Let's Pray community is hearing your requests as well, and I know that they are a faithful, global community. So Let's Pray is a, a community of believers or, uh, and of individuals who uh, have come together just wanting to uh, pray together and uh, seeking that support and understanding uh, that they have an entire uh, uh, global family uh, that they're able to pray with and they're able to interact with and they can talk to us, as, of course. Anybody and everybody can watch Let's Pray. We receive calls from everybody, the little kids, you know, seven and eight year olds. I remember Brooklyn She's adorable. She's this little girl who calls us um, all the way to grandmothers and great grandmothers and grandfathers praying for their family, you yeah. know, still leading that way in prayer. Yeah. Uh, sometimes they don't want to go live. We do have a, a group of folks that are praying with uh, people calling in offset, yeah. but the live calls really do. They just, they just add a voice to those who might not be calling in. It gives other people maybe a story to mm -hmm. attach to and say, you know what, I'm going through that too. There's also social media interaction. So we uh, engage on Facebook, via Facebook Live, Twitter, Instagram, uh, individuals. We have the Prayer Nation group on Facebook. And so uh, where individuals just come in and drop their prayer requests or their updates for their praise reports. Uh, that's what we really love to hear as well. There's an international impact. So to know that someone's calling from Jamaica or New Zealand or or uh, here in the States, you know, that is just um, incredible. There's a specific time uh, when an individual called in and they, they were um, saying that they, were in, they had stage four cancer. Uh, we just stopped right then and there and we prayed for that individual. Yeah, you can really feel that they're, they're, they're going through it and we just need to stop. I yeah. definitely see the impact and the need for prayer, not just in our community, but in my own life. But I feel like Let's Pray has become an extended family to me yeah. because it's not just us praying for our community, but mm -hmm. we're part of that community. It brings me to my knees more and my interaction with God because I feel um, the responsibility to facilitate this experience with, with season. Uh, but then when it feels heavy at that moment, I know that it's the Lord who has called us to this yes. and um, and I give it back to him. We have things in our lives that our community has lifted up and it's just had such a powerful impact. Uh, there's been ups and downs, but I just praise God that we have Let's Pray where we don't have to pray alone. Amen. We want Jesus in other people's homes, in their cars, everywhere. Mm -hmm. 